Hello and welcome to a video about the Taiwan KOM challenge. It's a race in Taiwan, obviously. Um, going from sea level to about 3,100 meters, I believe. Um, straight uphill. It's basically a massive hill climb. Um, we're going to see the stats behind it. So here we go. Uh, so we have the results here, which is Nibali 1, Pujol Menez Munoz, never heard of him, John Ebsen. Cam Piper, I think he's from Australia. Ed Bradbury, UK domestic professional for JLT Condor, and Phil Gaiman. So I'm not really sure any of the top ten. Oh yeah, obviously Cadell Evans, but that's about it. So stats nearly didn't post. Munoz, I don't think posted, but Ebony, Epson did, Bradbury did, but no power, and Gaiman. So if we look at the time difference actually first, Nibbly did it in three hours twenty roughly, and then Epson was about four minutes, five minutes behind, and Gaimon was about nine minutes behind. So, <clears throat> you know, not too, well, it's a decent distance for a, lo a long climb. Uh, so here we go on Phil Gaimon's Strava. So you could basically see at the beginning, it's like a 1% gradient, pretty chill, ramps up here, then there's a bit of a downhill part, and it gets really steep at the end, and the altitude plays an effect. So we look at his power. He basically, this part was about two hours in when he made some big efforts, uh, about 583 watts. But mainly, if you look at this, look at it, most of it is pretty, pretty easy, pretty chill. Uh, it's just the endurance part. So you can see at the beginning, like it's the beginning part here is where he's producing the least power, um, and then from about for about three and a half hours, he is going in. I think there's a neutralized section, which is potentially that part there. Um, but anyway, so it's roughly, it's not super flat, but you can see there's some peaks. So it's peak 10 minute power is like 385, which came two hours, 20 minutes in. So if we zoom out, it's not super high, um, towards the end, but you can see that's a, that's a big effort. So we're going on his watts per kilo. He's doing 5.7 watts per kilo, which for 10 minutes is not, it's not insane, but after already riding two hours, probably at like, what's this? Like over four watts per gear, that's pretty insane. Um, you also have to take into account altitude, obviously. So we look at John Ebsen. So the difference between these two riders was about four minutes, I think. So between four minutes, their overall weighted power is well, Gaimon's is a he bigger, but obviously he's a heavier bloke. Um, let's just do some calculations. So Phil Gaimon. Did for, whole, for the whole thing, sorry, did 3.75 watts per kilo, and for Epson, he did 4.3, so you can see Epson's definitely the lighter rider, which obviously <coughs> helps in him doing better. You can see, you know, peak powers are about the same. It's basically just a long effort at about tempo, so that's what I'd say it was. Maybe a bit below for these riders, but 280 watts for them is probably probably about tempo. You can see his zones actually. So yeah, tempo. That is basically how much what you've got to be able to do. You've got to ride about 280 watts uh, as you for about three hours 25, <clears throat> which is for four and three quarter watt per kilo, which is pretty insane. Um, he didn't really have any peaks to be fair, like. He just kept it pretty steady, he rode an even tempo, which is probably the best thing to do. His power probably did drop off a bit at the end. Uh, or maybe not drop off, but like he couldn't increase it because of the altitude. Um, so yeah, there you go. If you want to win the KOM, you need to do probably more like 5 watts per kilo for about 3 hours. Which is, I guess, what Nibbly did. Which is pretty insane, to be honest. 5 watts per kilo for 3 hours. Most, most amateurs who think they're hitting it can do it maybe for like 20 minutes, half an hour. But Nibali, World Tour GC contender, 5 watts per kilo for 3 hours. And then if you want to come top 10, probably 4.5, four, maybe 4.25 watts per kilo. Um, so yeah, you have to be pretty pretty good and pretty solid, have good endurance miles to be able to do that. But you can see though, like when we go into John Epson's power, like... It's not the peaks, like, yeah, he did 323 watts for four minutes. Like, that's not that insane. 
it's just he kept the power so consistent over the whole time and just has that endurance to keep doing it. So there you go. If you want to be a contender, you need to be able to deal with altitude, have solid tempo, and just get used to suffering.